Nissan Murano 2005 how to change spark plugs so this is the V6 3.5 engine first thing you need to know is to, to do is to remove these bolts here the screws are hexagonal there's four of them you use this tool so wear your gloves this uh, if you can't do this you need to look for a mechanic support so anyways uh, the only difficult um, you can call it a uh, access point is this one here so you need um, kind of an extension so there's only four little screws you need to remove okay so I'm using this extension here and the same tool I showed uh, before to get to this it's not too inaccessible, it's, it's okay, it's just a little bit complicated. So lift the cover with the bolts included. It's just gonna come out really easily. Just put it aside. So this is the engine, so that cover will give you access to the three spark plugs in the front. But the complicated thing here is the ones in the back. So the other ones, it looks like they are all over the way there they're in the back so why would Nissan would do this so how you need to change those spark plugs is they're really not accessible ah, this is just this is pretty bad what you need to do is to, you have to go in the back there are the spark plugs in the back so obviously the ones in the back they may not even be changed ever. Oh, what is it with them? So anyway, I will, I will start changing the three in the front. So you need that number 10 millimeter uh, socket to remove these covers and then you get the spark plugs out. So this is my number 10 millimeter socket and extension. And I'm just gonna start removing the uh, those little screws. So I removed the little bolts and now I'm just pulling this upward there and then just coming right out that's it uh, there's no way you will miss the position because it's uh, the amount of uh, cable in each one of them it's just the exact amount so and then there it is uh, there inside so you remove the spark plugs now so you need a long uh, spark spark plug um, key. So because the spark plugs are very deep, so you need this is at least um, twenty one centimeters in length. There is another short one that I have that is not it's not long enough. So make sure you get a twenty one centimeter wrench for spark plug this is the end point so the end point is half an inch so there are thin spark plugs so get the right spark plugs and get the right wrench okay so they're out and see the gap between the electrode of the new one and then the old one there are the two of them so the gap grew a little bit too much on the old one. Um, it looks like it's a very expensive uh, spark plug. But anyways, uh, time will just uh, make them be worn out. And then, so this car has some oil on the thread of the used spark plug. So it's telling me that the spark plug may not have been properly um, screwed in so make sure you do it properly you don't need to tighten it too much or else you will break the weak threads on the aluminum uh, head on the engine so be careful with that okay let's make a change okay so the three spark plugs in the front has been changed but now the difficult part is the ones in the back you need to remove this manifold here which um, I'm sorry to say uh, Nissan but you have 
you should have figured out another way to put together this engine. This is just too complicated. So you have to start with removing all of this. First this part, then this part here. Then you're gonna remove all these hoses and 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 these uh, uh, connect connectors here. And then um, you're gonna remove uh, this coil and all of these uh, 12 millimeters uh, bolts. And then you're gonna remove all these little hoses. And there are some others in the back. And you're gonna remove this whole thing just to change three spark plugs. That's just nuts. Well, let's do it. So start by removing um, these clamps for the air filter and then remove this from here, okay. Okay, so this out, I removed this plug here and I removed it from the support and I just put it on one side and now I'm gonna just pull this out and comes out, okay. So this is a sensor inside here, so be careful, don't um, just throw it down, just put it on with a lot of love on the ground. It's gonna go for now for the other hoses. So just remove this with using a plier, move uh, these little clamps out of the way, like this, put it backwards. So that's simple, then you remove the hoses. And I'm gonna take this screw out of here, okay, to remove the whole thing out, all this part. Okay, so now it came out, I just took it out, that's it. That's how it looks like. We're gonna be removing these connect connectors here. You have to press them a little bit, and so that's the movement. You press them in the bottom, in the back, and they just come out like that. This one same. There you go. Remove this hose. Comes out. This other hose. Okay, so um, this one on the left comes from this side. So do not confuse them. So remove uh, only one hose from here. The other one uh, you don't need to because it's coming from from the same manifold so it's gonna stay there so you remove only the one that comes from outside the manifold this cable also comes outside the manifold um, we'll see when you may need to need remove this little cable support from there we'll see also this support and yes this needs to come out here this part because this cable is not it's independent from the manifold so that that part there you need to remove so to remove this this little um, plastic you need to press it and then push it out okay from there now I'm gonna try to find the two very difficult screws are in the back so you can remove this I don't think it might focus on the other side okay. difficult I'll show you later once I get them out. Next step is going to be removing this coil and this is a 12 millimeter wrench or socket then it's very simple to get, it comes out right off. You will figure out right away uh, the hoses you need to remove from it okay so this is 12 millimeter. Well I think you don't actually need to remove this from the manifold the two hoses that are coming with it are both they are both tied to the manifold itself so anyways i'm just gonna move these clamps here to release the two hoses from the manifold um i'm just gonna put this back there and this is gonna come out all together with the manifold the only thing you need to remove is this uh, electric connector here because the rest is going to come out right with, out with the manifold oh but um you just need to move it out of the way so you can have access to these screws here these bolts so these screws are easy to remove with um, 
number 12 socket now you need to remove this one to gain access to that one over there this is a 10 millimeter socket as much as you can I just remove this one here so as much as you can put the not the bolts back so that you know where they are and then you know you're not mixed up with stuff okay so I just returned the 12 millimeter socket oh sorry bolt right there so that would make your life much easier so this is the way I'm working out those two bolts in the back uh, are very hidden there I'll show you later where they are okay remove the two bolts from the back they're the same so now you have to try to take this uh, manifold out this hose here will be in your way so you have to move it disconnect it from here and move it out of the way okay so I removed that hose from there and now I'm gonna I move the manifold out so it has obviously the bolts acts as a guide and then this um, cable is preventing me from moving it so I'm gonna push it out okay um, the way I've been doing it is I use a screwdriver push it right there and then take it out okay okay so now I put that out another thing that is in your way is gonna be the hose there in the back so you have to take that clamp out and move it so now that that one's out you have to work that other one out right there uh, you can see it it's right there difficult to try to show it on the screen but it's just right there hidden and just have to push it out push it out I don't know if you can see it it's right there so now I removed the two hoses from this side but <clears throat> make sure you remove one over here that one over there you see it right in the center of the screen that one And with that, this thing should, should come off. And that's so how I removed that one over there. Uh, that one. That you see there. Uh, it has some coolant, so just leave it up, uh, up looking upward. And then you need to remove this other one over here. For this Nissan Murano 2005, that one over there. So these clamps, um, some of them will be, um, you won't be able to use a plier to get them out um, so the way you remove them is you use the plier and you uh, press them like this with the pliers and then move the clamp down and then you're able to pull it out but be careful you need to wear gloves because uh, they may come, come out suddenly and you're gonna hurt your hands so wear gloves this is the last guy i'm trying to get out um, the clamp sometimes is facing the other way so you cannot get it out so but you can wearing gloves if you wear gloves you can with your hands twist the, the the hose and the clamp around so you can get the pliers to reach uh, the clamp so for this special case there this hose was a little bit too tight so i use my screwdriver to push it down and at the same time pull uh, with my other hand so that you may need to do okay so for this 2005 Murano there's more uh, problems to try to get the things out uh, there is one other hose that is preventing me from moving this thing out so there is that hose there that is somehow attached to the manifold and then try to figure out how to get it out I'm gonna use my camera to see how where it goes I can't see too much here. 
right, let's move these a little bit see where it's hanging. Okay, so I managed to remove this screw from the back, but uh, there's one more thing. Um, is this plug. And then with that, we should be able to get this thing out. So I removed the plug. There's still something in there. Uh, it's a green thing. It's been held against the manifold somehow Let's see how it's been held maybe it's that little how did he do it oh yeah you know they put it together outside when the engine wasn't in the car uh, so it's kind of very difficult to get that out so the last one bolt that I need to remove is this one here that is uh, holding the spark plug uh, connector to the manifold. Obviously these spark plugs have never been changed. This is so difficult that it was done only when the engine was out of the car. So now I'm finally able to get this thing out. Um, you see, this um, holder is tied right here. Right here, it's so difficult. So I had just to leave it out um, because this connector goes in here, right there. So. The one thing that I'm going to do is just to um, put it tight all over the way there so it's not in my way. Uh, it's so difficult. Why they would do this? They, why is the reason they would do this to us? Uh, this is just nuts. Okay, so now I started to put things together. So the first, um, sorry, the cable for the second coil this one um, and the one coming from the third coil so this is two four six cylinder this is one three five so <clears throat> this thing was attached to the exhaust manifold using this uh, device which goes right in there um, in here you see you push it there and it's there it stays there right then you screw it but um, you could just leave it out because there's nothing else that is attached to this as you see this is all brand new nothing is being put through those holes and when something is attached to a hole, you can tell right away there's uh, wear and tear. So this can be safely left out. And then you just um, take these cables and tie them to that using a, a tie wrap. That's it. This is the only thing that was uh, on that support. but. You don't need to get that complicated, just put a tire up there and then next time you have to change uh, spark plugs, this is just going to be much easier.
so that's what we're gonna be doing now and then those are the two back up bolts that you need to they go like this attached to the manifold like that so it's two of them and essentially then the other difficult hose is this one so this hose um, I don't know what it is anyways but it's go it goes all over the way down there it's um, I guess um, exhaust gases or something like that but this also is attached to the manifold with this bolt in there so without too much risk you could also tie that to the to this other hose using tie wraps uh, this this other so anyways, um, I'm just trying to focus the intake valves, see if I can actually get them to light up. Somehow, the, there you go, you see the two intake and exhaust valves per cylinder. Okay, so here this uh, is the spark plug. Um, cables that were electric cables that were attached to the manifold through here and they were also attached with this device so I'm gonna be leaving this out there's no need to have uh, these spark plugs attached to the intake manifold so the only one that I'm gonna be putting back is this very difficult bolt there and obviously you need to use those two bolts you need to hold it and then you connect that hose, that hose, this one here, and the other one so is this one. So it's one, two, three, four, five hoses that are, are attached to the manifold of the Murano 2005. And then the other ones are just the electrical plugs. There's no way you can miss it. So good luck putting things back together. Murano 2005 sparks plug change is really a mess i don't know how nissan came up with that thing where you have to kind of actually disassemble the whole engine to just put three spark plugs in there um to be smarter than that then i this first it's the first vehicle that i see that is like this anyways so good luck